protein present in gap junction options are catherin catenin laminin and conexon now uh, first of all we should have the knowledge of the intercellular junctions and then we should come to answer this particular question so if we just see this particular figure so we should understand that the there are two types of junctions that should be there that should, we should remember one is the junctions that fosters the cells to one another and the surrounding tissue that are going to foster the cells and other junctions are those junctions that permit transfer of ions and other molecules from one cell to another so two categories we should know one is the junctions that fastens the cells to one another cells to cells and cells to surrounding tissue right now what are those junctions the examples of these junctions are the tight junctions also known as the zonula occludens another is adherence junction or the zonula adherence zonula adherence then you have the desmosomes hemidesmosomes and sometimes you can also see the focal adhesion so if you see this particular figure so there are tight junctions which are going to uh, the tight junctions will be here then you have the zonula adherence the desmosomes are there hemidesmosomes are there and the fourth can be the focal adhesion then we have those junctions which allow the uh, permit the transfer of ions and other molecules from one cell to another right so transfer junction that allow the transfer of ions and molecules and these are going to be your gap junctions and that's why it is very important now the gap junction is going to be uh, that junction that will be helping in the uh, transfer of the ions right so if we just try to talk about the gap junction here the gap junction uh, the intercellular space that is seen with the gap junction that narrows from 25 nanometer to 3 nanometer 25 nanometer to 3 nanometer and the units these units the gap junction units are known as the connexons the units are known as the connexons and these gap junction each connection is made up of six protein subunits six protein subunits and these subunits the protein subunits are totally six and these subunits are known as the connexins we are going to call these as the connexins now uh, sometimes you have to understand that the connexins are the subunit and these are going to form a connexon also right that that is the uh, protein of the gap junction so if we just answer this question protein present in the gap junction is going to be your none other than the connexons right now sometimes they can give you connections also that will also be the correct answer so these gap junctions are going to permit the substances to pass between the cells without entering the and extracellular fluid so there won't be any entry of the ions and molecules to the ecf and these will be passed between the cells so cell one is there for example and cell two is there there will be six proteins right protein subunit actually cell 2 is there and these will be transferred the proteins or the uh, the molecules or the ions will be transferred from one cell to another cell uh, without going to the extracellular fluid right so this is what we wanted to discuss about this so the correct answer the protein present in the gap junction is going to be your connections or the connections